Do you know what is the role of parliament or what are the three arms of state? Let's take a quick tour to find out. Trinidad and Tobago has a Westminster system of government under which there are three arms of state, the judiciary, the executive and the legislature. The judiciary consists of the magistrate court, high court and the court of appeal. The executive, also known as government, is responsible for developing and implementing policy and drafting of laws. The third arm, the legislature, also known as parliament, is responsible for examining, debating and approving laws. In a democratic society such as ours, Parliament's role is crucial as its main functions are to pass legislation, to carefully scrutinize all government business and ensure that parliamentarians are held accountable for their actions. Five parliamentary committees are also established to examine the regular work of the executive. They include the Public Accounts Committee and the Public Accounts Enterprises Committee, which focuses on financial reports of state enterprises. And there are three joint select committees, which oversee the operations of ministries and departments. All parliamentary committees comprise government and opposition MPs, as well as government, opposition and independent senators. In addition to committees, Guidelines, known as standing orders, provide the Parliament with written rules under which the House and the Senate conduct their business. These orders also regulate the conduct of members. The Trinidad and Tobago Parliament comprises three elements, the President of the Republic, the Senate and the House of Representatives. The President of the Republic is the Head of Parliament, his duties include assenting to laws, authorizing the opening, adjournment or closure of parliament and the appointment of senators. Our parliament follows a bicameral system of government in which the legislature is made up of two houses, the Senate and the House of Representatives. The Senate comprises 31 members. 16 are government senators who are appointed based on the advice of the Prime Minister. Six are opposition senators, appointed based on the advice of the leader of the opposition, and nine independent senators who are appointed based on the president's discretion. The House of Representatives is made up of 41 members who represent the 41 constituencies in Trinidad and Tobago. Members belonging to the House of Representatives are elected by constituents and become members of parliament, also known as MPs. The main difference between the House of Representatives and the Senate is that the members of the House are elected while those in the Senate are appointed. A bill is a piece of proposed legislation. Most bills are introduced by the government but bills can also be introduced by opposition or independent members or senators provided they can obtain the support of the majority. Before it becomes an act of parliament, however, the bill must be introduced, debated and passed in the House of Representatives and the Senate. Either House can reject a bill, in which case it would not become law. Once a bill has been passed in the House of Representatives and the Senate, it is sent to the President for his approval. At this point, the bill becomes an act of parliament and forms part of the law of Trinidad and Tobago. On becoming a republic on August 1st, 1976, the president of Trinidad and Tobago replaced the Queen of England as this country's head of state. Over the last three decades, our country has seen five presidents. The first President of the Republic was Sir Ellis Emmanuel Innocent Clark, followed by Mr. Noor Mohammed Hassan Ali, Mr. Arthur Napoleon Raymond Robinson, Professor George Maxwell Richards, and the incumbent President, Mr. Anthony Thomas Aquinas Carmona. Our country has seen six Prime Ministers. The first Prime Minister was Dr. Eric Eustace Williams, Mr. George Michael Chambers, Mr. Arthur Napoleon Raymond Robinson, 
Mr. Patrick Augustus Mervyn Manning and Mr. Basdeo Pandey. The current Prime Minister, who is also the first female leader of the country, is Mrs. Kamala Prasad Bisesa. Although we have had six Prime Ministers, there have been eight leaders of the opposition, some of whom have served as Prime Ministers. The first leader of the opposition was Dr. Rujanath Kapildeo, followed by Mr. Vernon Jamadar, Mr. John R. F. Richardson, Mr. Basio Pandey, Mr. Rafiq Shah, Mr. Patrick Manning, Mrs. Kamla Pasad Bisasa, and the current leader of the opposition is Dr. Keith Rowley. For more information on Parliament, visit our website at www.ttparliament.org.